Hello everyone, I am Tiffany Starr and you are talking with Tiff. Holy fucking shit! God damn it! Oh my fucking god, I didn't even see you there! Why'd you sneak up on me? What are you, a fucking asshole? Well, while you're here, I figured we could talk about the 2020 September Nintendo Direct. I'm adding the 2020 bit in case you're watching this in 2220, in which case, I'm dead. Still, leave a comment, maybe my spirit will leave a like. Let's be honest, Nintendo Direct wasn't very impressive this year. There's Super Mario 35, which is Nintendo's attempt at hopping on the Battle Royale bandwagon, which is already oversaturated as fuck. Re-releases of Wii U games like Pikmin 3 and Mario 3D World. And Mario Kart Tour, which will either be amazing or fucking terrible. There was one game, however, that attracted the attention of everyone, myself included. And that game is Super Mario 3D All-Stars, a collection of Mario's best, most iconic 3D outings. Super Mario 3D All-Stars includes three games, the classic Super Mario 64, the underrated Super Mario Sunshine, and the brilliant Super Mario Galaxy. Though I already own all these games, I haven't played them in years, and my older versions don't look nearly as good. Not only has Nintendo spruced up the graphics, but you can play all three of these fantastic games on one cartridge anywhere you want. It seems like a game is dream come true. That is until closer examination, where you'll find some glaring issues, which have many gamers wondering if this collection is really that super. Let's start with the price. Super Mario 3D All-Stars costs $60 brand new. Now most new games sell for that price, however, these aren't new games. Not even remakes. They're just slightly prettier versions of old games, which isn't a bad thing. With that said, you can pick up a hard copy of Super Mario 64 for $10 or $20 used. If you have a Wii U, you can spend 10 bucks and get it on the virtual console. And if you really want to, you can get it absolutely free via emulation, which I don't condone. Not to mention the DS version, which is superior to the version coming with Super Mario 3D All-Stars, at least content-wise. Super Mario Sunshine sells for about $10 to $25 used, and can be emulated for $0, which again, I would never ever do. Super Mario Galaxy sells for about the same, and with a powerful enough computer, you guessed it, you can emulate it. I could gather these three games for like $35 give or take, or if you have a badass PC like I do, you could emulate these games. But don't do that. And this isn't the first time Nintendo's oversold their old fucking games. Check it. Check, check it. Here's Super Mario All-Stars on the Wii. $39.95. $35. 40 50 holy fucking shit. These prices are fucking insane. $40 for four games made before I was born? Are you fucking kidding me? Now I know some of you are screaming at the monitor, but Tiffany, if you bought all three games separately, you couldn't play all three on one console. You need an N64, a GameCube, and a Wii. That's where you're wrong. You can play all three of these games on a Wii, where GameCube games are backwards compatible, and if you were lucky enough to pick up Super Mario 64 on the Wii's virtual console before Nintendo shut it down, you'd have all three on one console, baby. Personally though, I think having them all be portable makes the steep price more palatable, and it's way more convenient than having them on the Wii, since you'd still have to swap out the discs. Still, I expected a $40 price tag like most remakes and remasters. Sony and Activision are great examples of how to release a remaster and remake. Sony remakes classic games all the time, like Medieval and Shadow of the Colossus, and I'm aware that they aren't gaming bundles. They're just singular games. However, they aren't remasters, they're remakes. It takes way more effort to remake an entire game from the ground up. Sony could have easily sold these games for $60, yet they still sold them for $40. Brand new. Not only that, but Sony and Microsoft will often sell their first party games at discount. And speaking of Microsoft, they sold Rare Replay, a collection with 30 fucking games for $40 at the time of release. 
The game now sells for $20 brand new, and Activision has done an even better job than both Sony and Microsoft. Spyro the Reignited Trilogy and Crash Bandicoot the Insane Trilogy were both remade from the ground up, and both include three games. The most recent example is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 Remastered. It comes with two games with fully revamped graphics and new content. All three of these games sell for $40, and they go on sale frequently. I have more examples, but you get the point. I can't help but feel I'm being ripped off here, so I understand why the $60 price tag would piss some people off. Even more so when you add the fact that the collection is available for a limited time. Which leads me to this bullshit. Super Mario 3D All-Stars will only be available to purchase from September 18th, 2020 till March 31st, 2021 in both physical and digital form. That leaves you just little over half a year to snag the collection. See, Nintendo has this business practice that while beneficial in the short term, harms them in the long run. Not to mention it's shady as fuck. Fuck. They like to release games and accessories in limited quantity because it keeps people talking about it and they sell easily due to the rarity. Take Amiibos for example. When they first came out they were so limited scalpers would buy them in bulk just to turn and sell them for a profit. We're talking three, four, five times the amount they're worth. The same shit's going to happen here. Scalpers are already listing the limited Switch release Super Mario 3D All-Stars. By the way if any scalpers are watching this, fuck you. I hope you choke on a chicken bone. So look at these prices. 108. 150. Holy shit. The game's not even out yet. They must be selling pre-orders because the game's not fucking out. Holy shit. That's fucked up. And Nintendo doesn't care. They still get the money the scalpers pay for the initial games. So they're fucking sitting happy. They're content. I'm telling you, on April 21st, prices for this game are going to fucking skyrocket. Either that, or Nintendo will release a statement saying, April Fools! We were just pulling your dick. This game isn't limited. In which case, fuck you, Nintendo. I hate it when companies do this crap. And judging by the backlash they've received, many of you do too. And now for my biggest complaint about Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Are you ready? Everyone knew this was coming. <sighs> the lack of Super Mario Galaxy 2. The original Super Mario All-Stars came with four fucking games. So many of us expected this one to come with four games as well. And what better inclusion than Super Mario Galaxy 2? It's a fantastic game, which many people consider better than Super Mario Galaxy 1 myself included. Its absence leaves a bad taste in my mouth. The Switch can easily fit four games on one cartridge. So what excuse do they have for withholding the game from being included? There are a few theories, but the theory I find most likely is that they didn't want to put two Galaxy games in one collection due to fears of oversaturating the market, aka Mario Overload, or because they wanted one representative for each console generation. This means that a Super Mario Galaxy 2 release is likely, be it DLC or a standalone game. What would be even more badass is if they released a Super Mario 3D All-Stars 2. Oh my god, please Nintendo do it. Please Nintendo do it and include Super Mario Galaxy 2. All will be forgiven if you do it. Despite these contentions, I'm still getting the game. If it's truly limited, it'll make a great addition to my collection. And the fact that these three amazing games are portable is too good to pass up. Again, I haven't played these games in ages, especially Super Mario Sunshine. Who could have predicted we'd all be playing that game again? <laughs> Not Vosh. There has been a precipitous decline in the number of sales of the Nintendo GameCube over the past 15 years. Did you guys know that? The number of Nintendo GameCubes that have been bought and sold on the open market has only gone down each year, which means fewer people are playing Super Mario Sunshine, and that's the only game I can remember from the GameCube. Wow, Vosh. That timing is amazing. By the way, trans rights. Before I end this, I just want to say if you are watching this video in 2220, then I hope you're enjoying new Super Mario Bros. 4D All-Stars Deluxe U, which will no doubt include Super Mario Universe 3, Mario and Sonic at the Bukaki games, and Super Mario Galaxy 2, because that's how fucking long it'll take Nintendo to re-release the goddamn game. <laughs>